So come out uh, early in the morning to the Hamburg Harbor, trying to find some compositions around here. It's a foggy morning, so it's promising to be pretty cool. I'm at a place called the Catwick Bridge. So I set it up just down here. I don't know this area very well, so it's gonna be fun exploring it today and this morning. Uh, but there are some uh, pretty cool industrial landscapes here that I'm looking forward to shoot, so uh, let's dig into it. This morning's been great. I've been uh, setting up a composition at the Catwick Bridge and it works really fine. It's a fantastic architecture here. It's some kind of brutalist industrial uh, monument and the fog has really been great. So I took a couple of shots with the GFX.
I'm back in the studio, and that was absolutely a ton of fun going around in the harbor, shooting with the Fuji GFX 50R. And I hope you enjoyed that too. Now, the thing with the Hamburg Harbor is that it's absolutely enormous. It's about half the size of the Hamburg town itself. So there's so much potential out there, and I'm definitely going to return. Maybe even do a longer project out there. I uh, was very impressed. Uh, the thing with the Fuji, uh, which is a camera that I love very much, is that uh, I remember a couple of months ago there was a post from the late astrophotographer Alan Wallace where he tried to shoot this one for Astro and it looked absolutely hideous. So I've always been afraid to take this one out into, into the night. But now I did and I tried it and it's absolutely fine. It's no problems at all. There are a few issues here and there maybe. and. Um, most notably, the uh, the viewfinder is lagging behind when it gets really dark. You get like one frame per second. But I thought we could take a look at some images here and I can complain about them uh, on, uh, on the screen. Here we are in uh, Capture One and let's take a look at some of the noise. This is ISO 1600 and as you can see it's quite noisy. But it's a pleasant noise. The Fuji's got a pretty pleasant noise pattern and it can easily be cleaned up with some uh, Topaz or Lightroom AI tools. So I don't think it's a big problem. Let's look at ISO 100. Pretty much the same shot and it's silky smooth with ISO 100. But you have to increase the shutter time of course and makes it susceptible to uh, wind movement and get a little bit of blurriness like that. So what I do have a complaint about is how it accepts the highlights like this blown out lights and I have another one that illustrates that more perfectly so you can see here what it looks like it does not look good at all it looks very digital and um, very hard to rescue these in hindsight I should of course have bracketed this and tried to comp in something else but uh, I thought it looked good when I took it so here we are so that's a bit of a bummer Another thing is that the GFX is quite slow. So this guy here, I wanted to shoot him when he was here. And I took a shot when he was here. So the time it took for the camera to recharge and being able to take another shot, he had passed this place and he ended up here. Now in retrospect, I think it's the correct position for him here, but uh, I would have wanted one here for safety or compar comparison just to see how it looks like. The really cool thing with the GFX is uh, the X-Pan mode. I think it's absolutely fantastic to compose in this uh, crop mode and just walking around shooting in uh, panoramic mode is a very unique experience that can't be replicated any other way. It's uh, absolutely fantastic. I really love it. It makes everything different. I also love the 4x3 uh, sensor size. I think that's the size to have. I find I'm struggling a little bit when I come to 3x2. It just feels a little bit too normal and boring for me. So I'll, for me, the 4x3 sensor size is absolutely perfect. Observant viewer might have noticed that I was carrying around another camera around my neck, and it's this one, the Mamiya 6 MF. This is a medium format uh, film camera, and I was uh, shooting a comparison video at the same time as so I was shooting this video, and that will come out in a couple of weeks time and so far it's looking absolutely amazing. It's uh, so much fun to see what uh, the difference is between film and digital and uh, I think it's pretty astounding. So if you're interested in that hit the like and subscribe button and join me in a couple of weeks time when I release that video. And uh, for now thanks for watching this video and uh, hope to see you soon. Goodbye.